Good afternoon and welcome. Well, things certainly seem to be opening up at the moment, don't they? We have more places that we can go. Pubs and restaurants are beginning to open. Although in Wales for the moment, you have to sit outside if you want to enjoy a pint. But it would seem that over the next few weeks, restrictions will continue to be lifted. And that is no doubt the case, whatever the result of next week's Senate elections. And all this is due in no small part to the rollout of the vaccine. So many people have now been injected. Some have even had two doses. But what it all means is that we can do more now, safely. And above all, there is hope for the future. I was reading this morning that there are a number of places where now there are zero cases of COVID. I'm sure we're pleased when we hear that. But of course, we do need to remember that this is a global pandemic. And there are other places where things are not as bright. I'm sure those tragic scenes in India have shocked and upset us. And whilst we rejoice at what's happening here, we continue to remember those who are still suffering in countries like India and pray for those who are still struggling with it. But we look forward with hope to the future. And many of us are enthusiastic to see family members and others that we haven't seen face to face for over 12 months. Yes, hope. And that theme of hope is one which is often seen in the Bible. And usually when we read about that in the Bible, it is hope in the middle of difficult times, when things are not going well. I'm going to read some verses that Peter, who was one of Jesus' disciples, wrote. 1 Peter 1, verses 3 to 6. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. Those people who Peter was writing to were going through very tough times and he was saying to them that they have hope in those tough times. And this hope is in Jesus and it is a certain hope that one day we'll go to be with him if we put our trust in him. And in all the tough things that happen to us, all the difficult things in this world, we can know for certain that, that is true. Why is that? Well, it's because of what Jesus did. In his death to provide the forgiveness of sins and in his resurrection that we might have life forever. And what is more, Peter heard Jesus promise that. And he trusted Jesus that he was telling the truth. And so he passed that hope on to others. Do you have that hope this afternoon? Whatever happens over these next few months, However quickly or slowly lockdown measures are lifted, we can know for certain the hope that we have if we put our trust in Jesus 
and all that he has done for us. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the hope that we have in Jesus. Thank you for all that he has done to make it possible for us to have that hope. And we pray that all of us will trust in you for that certain hope for the future. And in the meantime, we do particularly pray today for that country of India and all they're going through at present with the way the virus is uh, in that particular place we do pray that you would give strength to those who are seeking to find a solution to the problems that are there give wisdom to governments there and we do pray that they too before too long will be in a situation where they will be able to be covid free and so we commit ourselves to you and those who we know who need you in the name of jesus amen well, thank you for listening and may the Lord bless you all.